Please welcome to the stage Bernhard Hufenbach, Head of Strategy Innovation Team in the Directorate Human Spaceflight and Robotic in Exploration, and Richard Eckert, CEO of Space Application Services. Bernhard, you are the initiator, also you personally are the initiator of the Space Exploration Masters. Please share with us why you've you've decided to initiate the competition. Essentially, the Space Exploration Master is an element of a broader portfolio of activities we put in place in our, in our directorate in order to drive innovation and strengthen the economic dimension of space exploration. This is fully compatible with the strategy of our DG called Space 4.0. It is also consistent with our exploration strategy which has been endorsed by our member states in 2014. Now, it has really three objectives. The first objective is to identify disruptive ideas which lead to new products, new services, which can drive forward our space exploration program and enable new mission types in the future. Secondly, and that was mentioned before, we want to engage new players, startup companies, non-space sector players, to become an active player in our future space exploration endeavor. And thirdly, equally important, we want to show that space exploration drives innovation, which is not only relevant for space exploration, but it's also relevant for other sectors in space and also in non-space sectors. Now what's very exciting about this first challenge is that we connect two initiatives because the other key initiative we have put in place is the idea to create commercial partnerships with our private sector partners in order to offer new services which are good for space exploration but also offer new services to broader economic uh, benefits. And this very first prize connects the two things together because the winner of this prize gets a free ride to the space station from our partner standing right and left, left next to me. Yes, thank you very much, Ben. Richard, uh, Space Application Services entered a partnership with uh, agreement with ESA. How did the Space Exploration Masters work as a promotion tool for the ice cubes? Well, first, ice cubes is um, a quick and simple way to get to the ISS. Uh, it allows you within a few months to have a payload delivered to the ISS. You can operate your payload on the ISS, you can get the telemetry back, you can command the payload, and you can have the payload returned to you if you wish. Because we're at the moment in uh, LEO commercialization, when there are many, many opportunities arising, it seems that the, uh, the Space Masters new business innovation was exactly the right thing for ice cubes and for us. And so we're really happy to be able to offer an opportunity to fly with ice cubes to uh, as a prize for the, the best award for the business innovation. And what is really interesting about the winner, that the winner had an idea which made really nice use of ice cubes. It will be the first technology demonstration being performed using this facility. Uh, the winner will develop a new product and a new, new product which is also relevant for space exploration. It's, it's linked to CubeSats. CubeSats today are, is, a, is a big game for LEO, but it will also more and more be a means for exploring. ESA is currently conceptually finding various CubeSats for moon exploration. And this product and this, in, and this connection is quite interesting. But also this product is interesting to solve to some extent the DB problem because it helps to the orbit satellites in the lowest orbit. So it really was a very interesting proposal. Thank you very much. And now it's getting exciting. Okay, so I'd like again to invite our DG, Director General, Professor Johann Werner, on stage. Please, a small more. applause for Mr. Werner. And the first prize is? <laughs> and the first prize is uh, Phoenix Deorbit. Yes. So why, why is the experiment on board of the ISS so important for the further development of your FANEX product? Yeah. Uh, well, you know, space environment is so, so particular and you know, testing things on the ISS is very important to prove those things that cannot be proven on Earth. And, you know, uh, testing our FANEX on the ISS will allow us to 
reach TRL9, so to reach our level, which means to be space proven, which is very nice for a technology point of view. It's also very nice from a commercial point of view because you can propose uh, clients, customers with a uh, device which is space proven. It's also very important for exploration because we think that our system can really uh, give to CubeSats a added value that will allow CubeSat to explore the space around Earth and maybe beyond and maybe, you know, to solve one of the big issues, our, a big challenge, our generation, which is space debris. So, thank you very much. Congratulations and thank you very much. So, thank you, Jan Werner, Bernhard Hüffenbach and Richard Atkins and the Orbit.